Welcome to the first episode in this new tutorial series. I haven't been working on any of my games the past two months because real life got in the way of everything, but I thought I'd get back to making some YouTube videos, so I thought I'd start this tutorial series on how to set up programming stuff, very basics of everything. So if you already have experience with programming, then this probably isn't going to be the video for you, but later on in the tutorial series I'll get into more advanced topics that will make more sense to watch for people who have some experience. So what this video is going to be covering is how to set up the programming environment for Java, which is the language we'll be using. So the first thing you're going to need is to download the Java development kit, otherwise known as the JDK. So we're going to use the Java SE development kit AU162 so you would accept license and download whichever version you need. So that will also install a Java runtime environment for you so you don't need to install an extra one in case you don't have one already. And then you'll need to install that. So, and then once you have that installed you'll need to download Eclipse. For some reason the download button is taking forever to load for me today so I'm not gonna press that, but I'll put a link to it in the description for both of these websites. And I'll close that. Now the first thing that you need to do once you install Java and before you install Eclipse is to make this a bit smaller, um, is to set your Java home environment. So first you're going to right click this PC or my computer, whatever you have it whatever operating system you're running, go to properties and you're going to want to hit advanced system settings and then go to environment variables. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, then once you do that, you're going to need to set a Java home variable. So to do that you'll hit new and in all caps type Java underscore home and then you'll put your path to the JDK. So it should end something like the ending should be something like JDK 1.8.0.162 should be the last thing in it. So it should be a folder. So I'm not going to do that since I already have it. Close all that and then you can install Eclipse. Um, and these are the two files you'll need. I'm not going to go over installing Eclipse, but you'll need to install the Eclipse for Java developers, I think is what it's called. But I'm going to launch Eclipse here. And let that load. Okay, and I'm going to create a new workspace in my tutorials, but you can use the default one if you like. And go to tutorials do that and then call it workspace launch now this is going to create my what's it called my workspace folder which will hold all the projects that we will create so once this loads up I will go over creating your first project in Java. Okay, so this popped up. I'm gonna bring this over to here. My, whoops. I can get this work way. So get it to my other monitor. So we'll switch to that monitor. Oops. Alright. Alright, so let me make this full screen. Uh I'm gonna hit uncheck the always show on startup and just go straight to workbench. And this is because I have the Android stuff set up. We're not gonna worry about Android for a while now. But the first thing you're gonna do so you may not have these Android tools up here and stuff. But the first thing you're gonna do is file new and do Java project. So for this name we're gonna say my first project. 
project. And we'll use the default location. Don't need to worry about anything else. Just hit finish. That'll set our project up with this little arrow here. And inside the source folder, we're going to right click it and hit new. Go down to package. And package is like the equivalent of a folder. And in Java, the standard uh, naming conventions would be like a reverse domain. So I would say com.rxsgames dot and I'm gonna say main because it's where we're gonna hold our main pack or a main class and our class is just a file pretty much or an object in the game in whatever program you're writing so we'll call this main since it'll be your starting point and we'll include a public static void main here to auto generate for us and this is where the program will start so we don't need this right here And to prove that it works, and I'll go over this after, but I'll type system.out.println and end quotations, say hello world. Put that there. So then we'll click this, hit the green run button up here, and as you see down in the console window here, it prints out hello world. So our project is working. So what this does right here is is the public static void main method. I'm not going to explain what any of that stuff means quite yet. But what this means is it's when the program starts. So whatever you put in there will happen first. And then you'll slowly link it to other files and such. And then this part right here is what will print out a word. So whatever you put inside here is what will appear here. So if I say this is my first Java project and I save that and hit run again, you see it changes to that. So whatever I put in there will appear down here. And I'm just going to delete that for now and create one more example. So we'll create a method. So I'll call public static void say something. Oh, forgot me. Something. And I misspelled public. Pub okay. So that's just creating a method. And in the next video is when I'll explain what public static void all that stuff means and we'll just call this again and say hello world again oh, yeah. so now we have that again and on side our main well here I'll give an example we run it you can see nothing happened it's because we're, there's nothing telling what main should do so in main we're going to say say something and now saying putting that there is going to make this happen and anything that's inside this which is this is what's going to happen there so when we save and run this it works again and let's close that All right, um, now that's all working so this is going to be the end of that video, or this video, and I will start working on the next video right after this. But So now you should have all your Java tools set up for writing normal Java programs. So thank you for watching this video, and please like and subscribe if you like these videos. Thanks for watching.